Hello and welcome back to the Salesforce Health channel and today we are going to talk about Sales Cloud. I am going to tell you guys that what Sales Cloud exactly is as a product of Salesforce and how it can help a company to boost their productivity. So let's begin. So first of all, let's list out some of the most important objects that you're going to get as a part of Sales Cloud. So the number one is campaign, second lead, third account, fourth contact, fifth opportunity, then product and then price book and there are some other the, uh, like other contract orders, some of the uh, objects that you get as a part of Sales Cloud. So first of all, let's talk about campaign object. So campaign object is basically used to store the information of the campaigns that you do uh, for marketing of your business or to generate new leads or to do some brand building and you want to store that information in your Salesforce CRM or into the sales cloud then in that case you're going to use the campaign standard object instead of any custom object that you can create in your org so uh, this like campaign object is basically used to store the information of the marketing stuff or the marketing campaigns that you run to generate the leads and stuff like that now let's talk about the second object that we have in sales cloud that is leads leads is basically used to store the information of the potential customers of your business for example imagine if you're selling a camera then in that situation who will be your potential customer some photographers some videographers or people who are interested into photography or videography right so those people or those companies who can who actually buy or who can buy cameras will be your potential customers and will be stored in the leads object in salesforce so imagine you got Paul as a lead and or, or you can say a digital media company or digital media LLP as your client who wants to buy cameras from you then in that case you'll store their information into leads right and what if they, they have purchased a camera from you or they have purchased many cameras from you then in that case will you still store the information of Paul or that digital media LLP into your leads or will there be any another object so you guessed it right we store the information of our customers or sometimes our professional customers into the third object that is account. Account is basically an object in which we store the information of our potential customers, basically prospects with whom we are working on to a deal to get it closed or to sell something to them. So like we, uh, we store the information of that particular company or that particular individual into accounts uh, if they are prospect or our customer. Now imagine if you are selling uh, your cameras to this digital media LLP then in that case you must be in contact with some of the key executives or the key people who are part of this deal. So like where will you store the information of those uh, individuals or executives of that company. There is an object in sales cloud which is called as contact. You will store the information of these executives working into that particular account uh, into contacts. So now I think you understood where to store different different kinds of information and what all objects we already have in Salesforce to store different kinds of stuff. So we have uh, like leads where we can store the information of our potential customers. We have account where we can store the information of our customers or our prospects and we have contacts where we can store the information of our what of our key executives or the executives who are working into that particular account with whom we are in touch with or with whom we are communicating. But what about deal like where will you store the information of the deal that has happened with that particular account or that uh, like that that has happened or that is about to happen or we are working on to that deal so that we can generate some business from this company or with, with from this customer and uh, we can earn some money or we can like generate revenue for our company where to store that information so the object for that is opportunity so opportunity is basically the object where we can store the information of the deals that are happening with our customers or with our prospects or not only happening but also has happened so like imagine you have so uh, you're trying to sell five canon cameras to uh, your like digital media llp company and you have already sold 10 nikon cameras to some uh, other company like let's say vayner media so in that situation uh, like you'll store the information of that particular deal into opportunity objects record this is how you're going to store it or this is like opportunity object is basically used to store the information of the deals that are happening or that has already happened 
uh, even if we have lost it or even if we have won uh, like won that opportunity we're going to store the information of every uh, deal into opportunity object i think now you got it so how we store it in opportunity object is we basically create the record and we uh, like signify the amount uh, that this uh, deal will be of this particular amount and the different stages through which that opportunity can go through like uh, first you provide the code then there's a negotiation that is happening then uh, a review or a presentation or like presentation then the code and different different stages can be there and at the end either you won the deal or you lost the deal so we can uh, like track all of that information with the help of stage field which is present onto the opportunity object but there is one question that is still running into my mind and that is we are selling these Canon cameras, we are selling this Nik these Nikon cameras to different different customers and we are storing the information of uh, like these deals into opportunity object. But what about like we want to store the information of the products that we have in our organization or that are available into the inventory. Where to store that or where to uh, like I mean like yes, like, store the information of each and every product or each and every service that we are providing to our customers. So don't worry there is a standard object for that as well and that standard object is products product object is basically used to store the information of the products or services that you are selling as a business and you can include those products into an opportunity let me give you an example so i like i've just uh, said you that we are selling five canon cameras to digital media llp right so we'll store the like we'll we'll get that canon whatever the uh, like model number is that product into the opportunity multiply by the quantity that we are selling to them and with the cameras we are also selling them the lens so we'll include lens and with the particular quantity that that particular business or digital media llp wants and that amount will automatically be calculated by the amount that you have specified onto that particular product multiplied by the quantity and that will be added to the lenses price multiplied by the quantity of lenses that you are selling to them and that will automatically be rolled up to the opportunity so that you can get a complete or clear idea about how, like what is the amount of this particular deal or what uh, how much revenue we can generate from this deal like if the if this deal can like get closed how much revenue we are going to generate or how much revenue can this company generate all of this information can be clearly visible to you with the help of uh, using these all objects and one more thing I want to say over here is we have different different products right so we store the information of different different products into a products object but what about like we are selling these cameras but we sell to some of our customers at some rate or let's say if we if if, if it comes to uh, selling it to a media company then we, if we sell it at another price but when it comes to selling it to an individual uh, individual photographer or videographer we sell it on another price so there are different different prices for the same product as well so what to do about that so for that we have a price book object available and we can use that price book object to store the information of the different different prices that we have for the same product so it, it is basically a price a list a list which stores the information of the products and their respective prices which will automatically be shown onto that, uh, onto that particular opportunity or which, which will automatically be included onto that particular opportunity as an amount of that particular product. I hope you're getting it right. Even if you're not, then I have a solution for it. Imagine, we sell Canon cameras at X price when there is no discount period. But when there is a discount period, we sell it on 20% off, something like that or at uh, like Y price. So we can store both of these information into different different price book. So we have a standard price book in which we store the standard price of it. We have a discounted price book in which we store the discounted prices of the discounted price of the same camera. And if the customer is buying that camera from us uh, in the discounted period, then in that case, he or she will get the discounted price automatically. We do not have to worry about it. And if the customer or the individual is uh, like getting that camera or purchasing that camera into the standard duration where there is no discount available and in that case the amount that will be shown over there will be standard only and will be like uh, will be fetched from the standard price book itself and that all will happen automatically you do not have to care about that or you do not actually have to think about it so how amazing that is isn't it that's all amazing but this is just the beginning believe me we have another objects as well which can help you track different different things like let's talk about code so you can provide different different codes for a single deal so for that we have a separate object 
separate stand object which is already provided as part of sales cloud and that object is called as what code itself so we can just simply like create the codes over here and there's a button you just need to click the button the code will be automatically generated according to your needs and requirements and it will automatically be sent to the customer so that he or she can or they can simply uh, go through it and let you know the details or the feedback on that particular code and for a single deal we can have multiple codes so it's arranged like that or it's uh, programmed like that that you can have different different codes uh, for a single deal as well using the code standard object congratulations you have got this deal now what what we need to sign a contract right so for that as well you do not have to rely on your email or your word documents or your pdf documents there is an object in there is an object in sales cloud itself which is called as contract in which you can store the information of the contract and the dates like from this date uh, like this contract is from this date to this date these are the uh, products that we are going to provide at this rate or these are the services that we are going to provide at this rate and this is what we are going to charge or the terms and conditions that you are going to include into that contract and that all can be stored into your CRM you do not really need to rely on your email or document processing software that's all what you need to understand as a basic of sales cloud now in future i'm going to create some more videos to give you in-depth understanding of each and every object that you have available so stay tuned to the sales social channel and if you haven't sub yet subscribed to this channel then please make sure to do so it really means a lot and if you have any suggestions or thoughts onto this or if you want some custom uh, video or uh, any specific like a video on any specific topic then make sure just to just make sure to comment down over here and let me know and if you're watching this video on linkedin or facebook there's a link down in the description just hit that link go to the youtube channel hit the subscribe button because again that really means a lot thank you so much that's all for now see you next time bye bye take care